Major League Baseball's lockout is the owner's fault. The reason there's a lockout is the owners and the Players Association could not agree on a new collective bargaining agreement when the old one expired. A collective bargaining agreement, or CBA, decides how much money each team is allowed to spend, how much players make, and a million other financial details needed to make baseball possible. It was clear from the start the owners had no intention of giving up too much in negotiations. When the old CBA expired, it took the owners over 40 days to send their first offer. And on top of that, they had the option to play the season under the old CBA while negotiating a new one. They declined that option too. Baseball's commissioner Rob Manfred is representing the owners. After saying that canceling games would be detrimental for baseball, he set an arbitrary deadline to make a new deal. After seven straight days of negotiating, they weren't able to make a deal. And instead of pushing back the deadline that he made up, he decided to cancel games. So why don't the owners and the commissioner care if the season gets shortened? The reason is money. Billionaires and millionaires own these teams. Some may care about winning and being a successful franchise. Others just want to run the team like every other asset in their portfolio. Minimize costs, maximize profits. Some owners let good, expensive players walk and field a team of cheaper ones. Others want to cut some regular season games and add playoff games because they're more profitable. The owners are reeling in money hand over fist while minor leaguers don't make a living wage. Ticket prices skyrocket and the sport falls behind its major competitors like football and basketball. So what do you think? How can we save this baseball season? Let us know in the comments below.